There are like five things that I think are important when it comes to running shoes. Weight, fit, comfort, ride, and price. I'll talk a little bit more about each of those things in general after the run, but for now, those are the things that I'm going to grade this shoe on. After the run is done, I'll talk about what I'm going to use this shoe for. All right, so before I even go for a run in them, I wanted to real quick measure them, uh, measure them on the little scale that I have. They came in at 10.8 ounces, which is fairly heavy. For the sake of weight, I'm gonna compare them to the Saucony Convara. They are not the same shoe as the Saucony Convara, like they're not in the same real category, but this is the shoe that I do probably 80 to 90% of my running in. Uh, <laughs> This shoe, I actually weighed it on accident with the tissue paper still in it. These are a new pair. Uh, they came in at like 9.6 ounces, even with the even with the tissue paper in there, which was like another basically ounce. This this little guy was like another ounce, a uh, little over an ounce. So comparatively, like this is a much heavier shoe. It doesn't feel all that different side by side. Um, but that being said. 10.8 ounces is, I mean, it's probably the heaviest shoe that I'm gonna run in. It's it's pretty heavy duty, uh, and so I'll be curious to see how, how it feels, uh, if it feels that heavy or not. Let's go for a run. So we're just gonna break it down and I'm just gonna grade it like ABC system, um, make it nice and simple. So <clears throat> first of all, the weight, this is going to be the the main issue that I have with these shoes, really the only issue that I have with these shoes. Uh, I could definitely, the run that I did was fairly hilly, at least for Iowa, um, and I could feel it pretty significantly going up hills especially. I'd say I noticed the weight. It wasn't necessarily a bad thing. Uh, and I'd, well, probably something that you would just get used to. And for an everyday short run kind of trainer, you know, it wasn't that bad. So weight is gonna get B minus. I'll go with that for right now. Um, <clears throat> the fit, I felt like it fit true to size. Uh, there wasn't any, like slipping in the heel, uh, it was nice and wide toe box, which is something that I think is especially helpful for myself. This right here in the back is not all that much, um, and maybe it didn't have like the big, the best lockdown on my foot. That being said, for a super easy run that's not through trails, that's not that big of a deal. So I felt like it fit really nice, um, and would definitely wear it uh, around. Like there wasn't anything that I was, felt like fit too snugly or too loose or anything like that. So, uh, so for the fit, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a solid like B plus. 
There's probably a little that could be improved. Um, I did have to tie it fairly tight. Other than that, not too bad. Um, comfort wise, this shoe is one of the most comfortable shoes that I have worn and run in. Uh, and it was interesting because sometimes when you walk around in a shoe versus run in a shoe, they act a little bit different. Um, and I really, I enjoyed running in this shoe more than I enjoyed walking in this shoe. I didn't notice anything and I guess that's part of like their whole thing is run on clouds like you aren't really supposed to notice anything um, and so I'm gonna give comfort wise like it's gonna get an A just a solid A gosh for an A plus it'd probably have to be like actual clouds <laughs> ride wise I thought that the shoe was relatively like not a whole lot going on through here um, I, I felt like it was a fairly smooth ride there was not anything to write home about I didn't feel like I could maybe get up on my toes like I would in a shorter faster workout type but I did um, like it was fairly stiff and not super responsive uh, and I think that's part of the fact that it's just like it's not meant for speed work and so that's okay like it does what it's supposed to do I guess uh, but for a daily trainer and for something that's going to be like a durable daily trainer, that's that's a good thing, I think. On the downhills, like the route that I ran has significant and long downhills. And I felt like that's kind of where I'll be heel striking the most. I don't really heel strike all that much in general. Um, but when I did heel strike, I did actually enjoy having a little bit more just like this chunk of foam back here. Like I did actually enjoy that. Ride wise, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a B plus. Even, even for like normal daily trainers, I feel like you should be able to get up on your toes a little bit. And I don't think I would have been able to do that in these shoes. Oh, and then the price, uh, that's probably the biggest concern other than the weight is that these were $149.99. For being something that you can't use for more than probably your recovery easy runs, if you're going to go, you know, do hard workouts and stuff like that, um, speed, threshold, that, etc. I'm going to give it a B- minus on the price as well. Like, you could probably... That being said, I probably would buy this shoe again, and I actually think I will buy this shoe again. Uh, what I'm going to use this shoe for, I think once I get it cleaned up, uh, I'm going to use it primarily for basically the run that I just did, where it's a nice, short, nothing more than really 30 minutes. Uh, nice, short, 30 minute run, feeling good, and then kind of immediately going into gym work after that. Being able to wear these shoes for gym work, I think will be a good thing. Um, and uh, ultimately, especially in the summertime when I'm doing my gym work outside, uh, that will be really, really pretty helpful. Uh, plus, they're probably the shoes that I will wear at cross country meets in the future. Uh, I haven't really like had the best uh, success with shoes that I wear at meets maybe and because I'm going from running around to standing around for long periods of time I want to be comfortable yet be able to at least jog from place to place so I think in a different colorway these will probably be the shoes that I wear at cross-country meets in the future um, and I think even these shoes in particular like there'll be a nice kind of transition shoe where I don't like the way that most running shoes look with other types of clothes other than running clothes. Uh, but these are like interesting enough to the point where I feel like they could be worn with a pair of jeans or something like that. Um, so probably not like the most super helpful thing to buy with when looking for like a running specific shoe. Although, I think the aesthetic or whatever is important, right? Like people don't just buy things because they're super, super practical. They buy them because sometimes they look nice. Overall, I give these shoes like an A minus. They're not the most amazing, incredible shoes that I've had. They have some drawbacks, but overall a solid purchase uh, and something that I will wear in the future and get a lot of use out of them. Like. 
I'm excited. These are really cool shoes, and uh, yeah, I, I, I would then hope to, at some point, get uh, a pair of the Cloud Flows or some other type of Cloud shoe that is built for a little bit more speed work. A little bit lighter, a little bit faster, a little bit more snappy, and then hopefully, you know, I would like to try those because I really enjoyed these, and if we could fix some of those drawbacks then with a, just a different shoe, then I think I'd really enjoy those too. So, uh, that'll be maybe in the future, uh, but for now, yeah, I'm gonna leave it there and go hit some gym work.